guys welcome back so last session we saw about binding result so what binding result was doing it was binding my results and errors if the result had errors then it was redirecting to my add user page so my application was something like this and if there were any errors it was bind it was showing us the error we'll see uh, how to customize this error but before that we'll go move ahead and see how the custom editor classes works so when to use those custom editor classes the spring framework is wonderful but sometimes it needs some help from us as well so let's assume we have username over here email id over here age mobile and date of birth we were previously giving date of birth in this format so now i want that spring takes this format So let's see what happens over here. See here, Spring is not able to recognize what is the format present over here. So it's throwing illegal argument exception. So now, how can we achieve this? So for that, initminder comes in rescue. So you have fields such as username, email ID. So these fields are represented as strings on server. But we have data birth over here the date of birth field over here should be interpreted as a date object and the date object should be the date format that we are providing will be same for the date object so spring is unable to handle this right now so what comes in rescue was init binder i said so spring provides a mechanism that will allow you to specify your own custom editor classes or you say own custom binding objects so for the scenario that we had right now we will need to specify how would like spring bind this date of birth text to an date object let's look at the code so why it was binding previously was that the user details I was providing date as a date of birth so it was taking by default the de default date that we were providing so now I want to customize my date. So what I will do, I will go to my base annotated controller class. I will just add in this code because I have already added, this will show you. So here what happens, init binder annotation, this is what we use to tell Spring that this method will be used to implement our custom binding for the fields. So without this line of code, Spring would just ignore this method and it would never be executed again. So to execute this method, we need another parameter over here, that is the web data binder. So once you have leveled a method as init binder, it needs web data binder as parameter. Right? So it's the object that we'll use to make custom binding happen. This is this is the object actually. So we'll just format our date according to our classes so we have date simple date format that formats the date we're formatting the date in mmdtyi format and now we have register custom editor so register custom editor sorry so there are some custom editor classes provided to add in so i have custom date editor because i want to customize my date there are string editors blah 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 i will show you i will give you a link of this you can see what are the custom editor classes present so I am telling spring that this is my date format this is my field and this is my date editor class so the format will be date format so this is the way how you format the date so now let's see how it works mm -hmm. Okay, so cycle job ID. Yes, so now it's taking the date as a simple date. So this is formatting to my yeah, with respect to my Java pin over here. This date. So now it's able to format it. Okay, so suppose. Now 
we have another problem let's assume it a problem so we have email id over here age over here mobile scooter cycle so now i want if i input a blank username it should by default take alex as a username so we'll see this in the next session how to resolve this thank you